weeks ago, my old vicar from Wallington went to be with his Lord. 30 years earlier, he'd been called to our church to lead us in a time of crisis. We'd been hurt by conflict for years and Brian was humble and gentle and prayerful, exactly what we needed. And then a fortnight ago, I read a post online about Mr. Rogers, an American TV legend, loved by millions, but a man I'd not heard of till Tom Hanks brought a film out about him last year. In 1969, on his show, he invited one of the regular characters, a black policeman called Officer Clemens, to come and sit beside him at a paddling pool. Not surprising, other than the context, which was that swimming pools across the US were still segregated for blacks and whites at the time. After paddling for a few moments, Mr Rogers turns and dries the black officer's feet. It was a clear rebuke to the system. 20 minutes into the film, Mr Rogers is on the phone to a clearly sceptical journalist. And he asked the journalist, what do you think is the most important thing to me right now? There's a brief pause and then Rogers completes his own thought. Well, I'm talking to you. So right now, you are the most important person to me. This conversation is the most important thing to me right now. Years ago, I went to pray with Brian, our vicar. I can't recall why. But I can remember the scene. We prayed for a bit and then there was a silence and a stillness before Brian turned to me. Clearly, he'd been nudged by God and said, David, whoever taught you that you must earn God's love? It had a profound impact. I started to weep. I found it hard to stop. Who taught you? that you must earn God's love. I confess that's a lesson that I've had to learn and relearn over the years, because perhaps like many, I lapse into thinking that God's love depends on my actions, a bit like an effort grade at school, in my case, often accompanied by the phrase, must try harder. But God's love for us isn't dependent it's there because he is love, not because I've pulled my grade up from C minus to C plus. For many of us, earning that love seems easier. We understand the transaction. So I pay my tenor and Netflix renews the subscription or I put a tenor in the collection plate or do the shopping for my elderly neighbour and God uh, gives out another burst of love. Deep down, we recognise that our actions aren't worthy let alone that we deserve any free love from God. God's unmerited favour, as the old preachers used to call it. And our suspicions are right. We don't deserve it. But that's the point. The reporter didn't deserve Mr Rogers to listen to him so patiently. I didn't deserve Brian praying with me. I certainly didn't deserve God's fingerprint on my life. But I had it, and I have it. You have it. Paul said it beautifully when he prayed this. That you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Whoever taught us that we must earn God's love. <laughs>